Hey guys, it's Metagosis Perfect Snatus where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our labs playlist. In the previous video, we talked about prostate specific antigen, which can be used to diagnose prostate cancer. PSA can also be used to follow up with cancer patients after treatment to see if the treatment is working or not, or if to see if there is cancer recurrence or not. Today we'll talk about, arguably, a better test, which is the Early Prostate Cancer Antigen, or EPCA, also used to diagnose prostate cancer. So without further ado, let's get started. Please watch the videos in this lab's playlist in order especially the previous one on prostate-specific antigen. Prostate-specific antigen is not the only game in town. We have many tests to help us diagnose prostate cancer, and they include prostate acid phosphatase, prostate-specific proteins like the prostate-specific membrane antigen, and early prostate cancer antigen. This is today's topic. And then we also have prostate cancer specific genetic markers, such as the PCA3, which stands for prostate cancer gene 3. We have SPINK1, we have GOLF2, and we have TMPRSS2 ERG. Who named these things? You massage the prostate professionally, and after this, you will find increased prostate cancer specific genetic marker in the patient's urine if there is prostate cancer. Now, on to today's topic, early prostate cancer antigen. Why is it a good test? Because it's not present in normal cells in normal people. It's only present if I have prostate cancer. That's why it's arguably better than the PSA, because the PSA could be positive in prostatitis, in benign prosthetic hyperplasia, in conditions that are not cancer. But EPCA should be positive only in cancer. And of course, no test is 100% accurate. It doesn't exist. There are two types of this. We have EPCA1, which is in the tissue, and EPCA2, which is in the blood. When the prostate cancer metastasizes, this gets really high. So let's compare between prostate-specific antigen and early prostate cancer antigen. PSA versus EPCA. PSA is present in both normal prostate gland cells and prostate cancer cells. But with EPCA, it's only present in the cancer cells. PSA is a blood test. EPCA, well, it depends. One is in the tissue, i.e. the prostate, but two is in the blood. How would I find the one that's in the tissue? Biopsy the prostate gland. PSA is probably less accurate in identifying prostate cancer versus EPCA, which is more accurate. If you want to learn more about PSA, please check my previous video in this lab's playlist where we talked about it in detail. If you want to learn more about other cancers, check out all of these videos in my cancers playlist. If you want to learn about colon cancer and liver cancer, please check out my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectsnetis.com to learn about vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer, and ovarian cancer, plus breast cancer, download my OBGYN high yields course. If you want to master chemotherapy, I have a course for that too. If you do not wish to download my courses, you can watch all of my premium courses right here, right now on YouTube by clicking on the join button. Please subscribe, hit the bell. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my notes, courses, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense.